Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about sales prices. So when you're selling an item or a thing, you know, there is, you can put a sales price that automatically pops up on the sales order. So you're typing it on the sales order. Um, if it comes blank, then you have to put it in all the time. So you have a price list hopefully for your items. So you can set it up so it automatically goes on to the uh, sales order. But what if, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Let's say, for example, yes, you do have a price list. Your price for the item is $5, but for this one customer, which buys a lot from you, you're giving them a $4 price. So can you set that up in uh, Business Central? Can you have a structure? Definitely. And we're going to go through that today. Let's take a look at a graph. We start with the item. And on the item itself, we have sales prices. So. You know, if you only have one price for every single item that you have, you can just key that in on the item card and it will be perfect. <laughs> and so if you have a sales order and a sales line with that item, it will automatically populate the sales price from the item card onto the sales line. So that's the simplest scenario for sales prices. Now. When it gets a little bit more complicated than that, uh, we need something else. So then we have a table called sales prices. So here you can actually set up different sales prices for different things like different customers, different customer groups, etc. for your items. So in this case, I actually have a special customer I want to give a discount to or have a special price for them. So I tie the customer to that sales price. So we have both the item and the customer in the sales price table. And then the price comes from the sales price table and overrides the price that we have on the item. Let's take a look at the system. So if we go into items and I go into my Enact a Coffee mug and I take a look at the uh, prices and sales. I have your unit price. So I'm going to set that up to be $5. And close that out and go into sales, uh, sales orders. And I'm going to just create a new one. Again, to the Adatum Corporation. Um, I don't have Cro uh, the Canon Group anymore. <laughs> So a datum has become my go-to customer in the system. So I pick the coffee mug and we can see here that it comes in at $5. So it's automatically picking up the price from the card like we would expect. And now we want to give the a datum corporation a better price than the standard price. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that's done. I'll exit out of the uh, sales orders and go back here into the item list and into my coffee mug and now I'm gonna go ahead and create special prices and discount right here create a new special price here I'm gonna pick a sales type customer notice that I can pick all kinds of things I can say a particular customer all customers particular customer price group campaign so there's a couple options here but in this case I'm just picking up the Adatum Corporation uh, I'm not saving up any minimum quantity. I'm just going to give them $4. They're going to get a dollar off. And now if I close this out, so this is my sales prices screen as we showed in the diagram. So if I close this out, come back, um, go back into sales uh, orders, uh, go to the Adatum Corporation. I think, believe I could just click on this particular sales order. Uh, and just type in the item again. Connect the coffee mugs. See now, it actually comes up with $4. Now notice it did not update any prices I had already put on the sales order. So the previous price of $5, it stays there even though I started giving a new price. If you needed to update all of those prices, um, you would then have to find all the sales orders that have that price and hit update. So that's how the sales prices work in Business Central. Um, you can also get into discounts. Uh, I'm not going to demo that here, but on the item itself, you can start setting up special discounts for the item. So uh, you can explore that on your own, uh, but at least now you know the structure. 